Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the poster color session. Here we are going to uh, try out a simple landscape of a you know a cold region area. So first of all, we will start with some light colors. Here uh, you can use purple uh, color, uh, sky blue means the cobalt blue and maximum white, and try to blend. Don't use too much water while mixing. Okay. So uh, as uh, you have uh, seen, there is a water area. So the same color should be follow uh, to show the reflection of the sky and gradually uh, dark from light can utilize. Uh, again, I'm uh, don't use too much water. The motion of the brush should be followed. It should be from left to right. Next, uh, <clears throat> again, a bit of dark color means purple, blue for the mountain with some snow. So direct white I'm using here and uh, let's make some dark color using uh, green, black, blue and purple, black, orange, green any dark shade for showing the distant trees just uh, I'm uh, having one flat brush and uh, with the help of the brush I'm here I'm not using actually too much water just dipping the brush onto the water and squeezing it out then again taking the color so again uh, the tree Starting from top to the bottom, give the shape of the tree. Randomly, I'm trying just to create a center point, focal point on the center. I'm uh, trying here to draw huge trees on the left and right side, and the shapes is uh, will go, uh, you know smaller on the center towards the center here uh, i'm using black green and orange also and just first of all i'm trying to fill the color this is the baseline so uh, this time i'm using a round brush just to fill the color with a dark shade. Now I'm trying to show the land over there. Let us see what will happen. Again, trying to darken the area. happens now if you uh, continue rub on a particular place the color goes lighter so here you can see I'm trying to use orange and yellow color for the highlighting areas okay the process is from dark to light you can move from dark to light for detailing so here the baseline Again, uh, trying to give the uh, shape on the right side also and filling dark color. Any dark shade you can use. Now I'm blending the unwanted strokes which came actually while using the small brush by simply wet brush. Here I'm trying to softening the edges by dry brush. again fine brush trying to manage the drawing and blending again so here you can see I have created a reflection of the mountain with the same color which I have used in the mountain that purple sky blue and white maximum white 
I'm trying to create a light tone of green for lighter part of the trees means uh, the reflection of light the effect of light on the tree to give a shape a volume actually again orange also let's see what will happen just to show some grass on the ground and some light on the trees also you can use green light green green shades also here i am trying to use a light green also green orange and gradually i am increasing the light after using dark color and not taking too much water direct using color so, uh, sometime using small brush for small strokes small detailing works and some flat brush for big strokes now here the water reflection is the reflection of the trees on the water the water is uh, steady means uh, no wind is blowing here so the reflection of the tree is just uh, it should uh, means it look like uh, a mirror standing on the mirror so trying out that and uh, here i'm using again the dark colors which i have used on the trees means green purple orange and black this time taking a small brush taking care of the edges and the shapes shapes you can see now on the direct black i have used here a bit on the bottom side you can see and uh, we'll try to blend the same this side also just to create a contrast if you observe the reflection on the water you will find that uh, the bottom areas are much more darker than while moving distance so i'm trying to manage the same so on uh, blending unwanted strokes so uh, it's a matter of you know experiment if you dislike the strokes you can uh, just take the same color and overlap it you can correct you you can uh, correct all the colors if you have put it dark color you may use light color or if you have uh, used light color and you need dark color then uh, you can just take the color and just uh, put over it again i'm trying to blend the strokes which came due to you know brush brushes small strokes came I'm just taking a wet brush but not water on the brush so here you can see a bit uh, color has been faded out so again i will try to use a bit dark color means the same color which i have already used on the tree and using the brush angle from upside down so this is the process now i will take a light orange to draw some grass and land this is the baseline and uh, also the reflection of light on the trees this time i will try to detail now i'm blending just so grasses are there so uh, can use a fine brush also and single single strokes also but uh, now after orange i have uh, prepared a lighter green color and uh, using it 
Now here you can see the light. I'm just using strokes here, small strokes. Some small lines and dots. Just to uh, give shapes of the tree and effect of light also. The reflection of the grasses on the tree. And here as the, the orange color is there, so just same color I will I'm using. Some dark light. So in this way you can proceed. You can edit also. Don't take water too much water as it's a opaque style. So do not. There's no need to take water too much. Just uh, take color and just dip uh, the brush some grasses I want to draw on the water so just I have used some straight strokes over there now to suggest water I'm using a light blue with white and uh, two speed lines the same color which is in sky suggest the baseline it creates a point of interest on the center I'm using some dark and so trees over just around the center And, uh, you can use more stroke you can do more detailing but as this is a quick uh, painting just I want to show blending and uh, stroke work I have used both on the sky and the water I have used blending process and even on the mountain also while uh, doing trees and land I have using now you can see I yeah, am trying to make a figure you can uh, draw figure just simply taking color but I am unsatisfied so I am just erasing it. Now you can see I have taken the same color which I have, I have used on the tree on the area and just put the color. So that's all just slowly you can remove the tape for getting a perfect border and uh, you are done so that's very simple so if you like the video just to start practicing here i have used only six colors so that's all thanks for watching